Elon Musk says that in 10 years, we could see all cars that are being built have self-driving capabilities. And that in the self-driving city of the future, you will be able to choose settings on your Tesla that allows it to self-drive and be used by family and friends during specific times of the day. You could even choose a setting that makes your self-driving Tesla go and pick up passengers. Elon says that the owners of the Tesla robo-taxis could generate up to $30,000 a year in profit. Could the self-driving city of the future turn your car into your own personal assistant? As it goes out while you are at work, dropping the kids off at school, and picking up your dog from the vet, along with groceries at the supermarket drive through While Elon Musk is busy digging his growing web of tunnels underground so you can get from home to work faster. How will the self-driving city of the future change garbage trucks, deliveries, car washes, and gas stations? From self-driving cars that talk with each other to the boring company's growing tunnel network under Las Vegas, we're going to take a look at how the self-driving city of the future is being built and designed, and find out which cities are already testing and building roads for the new age of self-driving vehicles. In the self-driving city of the future, the cars will be talking to each other. This is called V2V, or vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, and it is just like how ants work together. These self-driving cars and other vehicles will be able to tell each other if there are hazards on the road, such as a breakdown, wildlife, a person, or a pothole. If one vehicle needs to brake suddenly, it will let the vehicles behind it know, allowing for faster reaction times. These self-driving vehicles won't just be aware and talking to each other. They will also be communicating with the roads and the city itself. This is called vehicle-to-infrastructure communication, or V2I. When all cars are self-driving, there won't be a need for physical traffic lights and signs. These will all be digital markers, communicating wirelessly to the vehicles. This means that the vehicles would not need to rely on their cameras to read signs. There will be digital speed limit markers which can change during the day. Your car will also be able to communicate with nearby markers for special local directions or directions to available parking spots. There will be warnings for construction work, accidents, breakdowns, and instructions for what detours to take. And these self-aware cars will also talk to the central city computer, letting it know what is happening on the roads. It won't just be cars and large vehicles talking to each other in this futuristic city. There will be many other forms of self-driving vehicles, robots, and even devices. There are already self-driving scooters, bicycles, and garbage trucks driving around today. On the MIT campus, the Autonomous Bicycle Project lets riders use a smart bicycle. When a rider summons the bicycle via an app, the bicycle deploys a third wheel and autonomously drives to the rider's location and changes back to a two-wheeled bicycle. When the rider is done, the bicycle automatically drives back to a charging station. And GoX are building electric scooters that will automatically drive to a user's location and then return on their own to a charging station. Even your phone could have self-driving capabilities. If your phone ever starts running out of battery, it could end up finding its own way to a charging pad. This is something that is being worked on by Biorobotics Laboratory in Seoul National University. It is called the Case Crawler, and it turns your phone into a robot with retractable legs that will walk itself to a charging station. What about vehicles that are used as a service in the city? There are already robo-taxis being used today, but could something like a garbage truck be made self-driving? Volvo has been testing an autonomous garbage truck, but when will we see a self-driving garbage truck that can also pick up the garbage cans and empty them into the truck by itself? And if there are self-driving garbage trucks, could this mean we will see self-driving repair vans and robots that can come and fix your car by themselves? It is well known that Amazon is working on making deliveries faster and autonomous with their drone deliveries and their scout delivery robots, which have now started trials in Atlanta, Georgia, and Tennessee. But would you need to rely on Amazon to deliver your packages, or could your self-driving car go and pick them up for you, stopping at an Amazon drive through center? After your car has picked up your packages, it could then drop off and wait for your dog at the vet. 
Once the vet visit is finished, the car could go to the drive through grocery store and have your groceries loaded into the trunk. There could even be a refrigerator built into the car to keep things cool while it waits for you at home after it has plugged itself into charge and lets the dog out back into the house. When it comes to self-charging, Tesla created this sci-fi robotic tentacle five years ago, but it seems that they have abandoned it. There are others who have been working on developing this sort of self-charging robotic arm, such as the Graz University of Technology. But maybe the reason why Tesla is not publicly developing their own robotic arm charger is because the future of charging electric cars could be with wireless charging pads. Just like how phones don't need wires to charge today, as you can just put them on top of a wireless charging pad. The same is being worked on for electric vehicles. A company called Ytricity is developing a wireless charging pad, and so are Volkswagen. What will this all mean for gas stations? Will they end up being converted into electric charging parking lots? And what about car washes? Can they also be converted into an autonomous service, where your car can go by itself and get a car wash? Gas stations won't be the only areas of the city that will need a redesign. Could parking lots and streets filled with parked cars disappear? As cars spend 95% of their time parked, in some cases, 50 to 60% of real estate is used solely for vehicles. Self-driving cars won't need to take up valuable parking space in cities, as they could go back home, go to an underground robot-controlled parking lot, or go out and run errands or work as a robotaxi. So will the parking lanes on streets be converted for more driving space, creating faster traffic flow, or will they be turned into green spaces for pedestrians? Will street lanes have to be as wide as they are now? Or will they get narrower since self-driving cars need less space between each other? Would there be a need for lines to separate lanes, or will self-driving vehicles weave around each other? And could the design of roads change during the day and week based on traffic patterns, leaving more space for commuter vehicles during busy times and days, and then create more space for individual mobility vehicles or pedestrians at other times such as the weekends? What about pedestrians needing to cross the street? How will that be designed into the self-driving streets of the future? Could our homes also be redesigned because of the self-driving car? If the roads are quieter with all the electric self-driving cars and no honking needed, will there be more buildings and homes built closer to the streets? And what if electric cars are built with solar panels, as Elon Musk said the Cybertruck could have a fold-out solar wing? Could home garages then have skylights allowing the cars to charge while parked? Or will there even be a need for home garages, as self-driving cars can be used as robo-taxis? Or they could park and charge in a central or underground location in the neighborhood, saving personal and residential real estate space? Some cities are further along in their planning for creating self-driving cities. Detroit and Phoenix are a few cities that have taken steps in welcoming the new age of self-driving vehicles onto their roads. Michigan has designed a 40-mile autonomous roadway for self-driving vehicles between Detroit and Ann Arbor. It will first be used by self-driving buses and shared vehicles, and then self-driving freight and personal vehicles. This separated lane is to allow self-driving vehicles to have their own space to practice autonomous driving before mixing with human drivers. Over in Arizona, the Pima Association of Governments decided to upgrade their traffic signals in preparation for vehicle-to-infrastructure connectivity. Boston, along with other cities in Texas and Arizona, are also developing fixed lanes and routes for self-driving vehicles. And then there is the new city being built by Toyota at the base of Japan's Mount Fuji. It is a space for Toyota to experiment and develop self-driving vehicles. The city is called Woven City, and it will be powered by hydrogen fuel cells. The streets of the new city have been designed into three different sections, which will be woven together. One section will be for autonomous vehicles, one for personal mobility systems, and one for pedestrians. The Toyota e-Pallet is one of the vehicles that will be used there. Toyota plans on breaking ground in 2021, and about 2,000 people will be living there. A project called Self-Repairing Cities is looking to make the city of Leeds in the United Kingdom the first city to create fully self-repairing streets by the year 2035. There will be drones that will perform repair tasks such as changing the bulbs in the streetlights, 
Swarms of flying vehicles will autonomously inspect and repair highway problems such as potholes. And there will be hybrid robots designed to live and work within pipes to inspect, repair, and report back. Steve Wozniak does not believe in self-driving cars, one reason being that roads are designed by humans and humans make mistakes. So instead of trying to get self-driving cars to take over cities, it will be small controlled areas that first make use of fully self-driving vehicles. These small controlled areas will later expand out, bringing self-driving cars to more areas. This is just like how Facebook was first used in a few universities, then expanded further out from there. This can already be seen today as places such as airports and retirement communities are using fully self-driving vehicles. Or you could go the Elon Musk way and just build your own self-driving city roads underground. The Boring Company tunnels are designed for electric and self-driving cars. Their first tunnel is close to being completed and operational in Las Vegas. Because it is a self-contained road, not affected by weather or human drivers, allows the cars in the tunnel to be self-driving. The self-driving cars that will be used in the Las Vegas tunnel look to be Tesla's Model X and Model 3. And possibly, Tesla's Model 3 chassis will be modified to create a vehicle to transport 16 passengers at a time between hotels and the Las Vegas Convention Center. There are already plans made for adding extensions to the tunnel loop in Las Vegas, creating their own underground subway network using self-driving cars. There is also the dugout loop in Los Angeles, California being developed that will transport people from Los Feliz, East Hollywood, or Rampart Village to the Dodger Stadium. And there is the East Coast Washington DC to Baltimore loop. These other tunnels are in the environmental review and permitting stages. So this is what the self-driving city of the future will look like, where roads won't need signs or lanes, and cars will communicate with markers in the road for speed limits and road condition updates. Garbage trucks and road repairs will all be autonomous too, and Elon Musk will be busy underground building his web of tunnels. In the next episode of Venture City, we take a look at SpaceX's Starship and all the things it will be capable of, from launching large batches of satellites to helping build the new International Space Station. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to not miss a video.